Good morning ladies and gentlemen in this video we are going to cover the current affairs of 7th may which of the following state city police has launched an all women police patrol unit rani abakka force right answer is karnataka so recently mangaluru city police has launched an all women police patrol unit rani abakka force for the protection of women and children if we talk about police Recently Hyderabad City Police started Bharosa initiative it is a support center for women and children apart from that in 2018 prime minister inaugurated india's first national police museum in delhi on the other hand recently kerala state police became first police force in india to induct humanoid robots called kp boat on the other hand recently delhi police became first police force in country to digitize all mal khanas mal khanas are the rooms where seized arms and ammunition are stored who led the indian delegation at 16th ministerial meeting of asia cooperation dialogue right answer is mr v k singh so the 16th ministerial meeting of asia cooperation dialogue held in doha in qatar and the theme was partners in progress the indian delegation was led by mr v k singh if we talk about qatar qatar will be the host of 2022 fifa world cup apart from that if we talk about geographical location of qatar the capital of qatar is doha and currency is qatari riyal qatar was in news recently as it quit opec opec stands for organization of petroleum exporting countries The headquarter of OPEC is in Vienna in Austria. It should be kept in mind that Austria is not a member of OPEC and Qatar is the first Gulf country to quit OPEC membership. Apart from that, Qatar was also in news as it was the host of 23rd Asian Athletics Championship and in this championship recently Ms Gomti Marimathu won India's first gold in women's 800 meter race. Apart from that Qatar was also in news as it is set to abolish its controversial exit visa system which is known as kafala system for all foreign workers by the end of 2019 which former isro chief has been bestowed with France highest civilian award right answer is Mr AS Kiran Kumar so former isro chairman Mr AS Kiran Kumar has been conferred with France highest civilian award if we talk about france recently indo french joint naval exercise varun 19.1 started off the goa coast france was also in news because of yellow vest protest on the other hand france recently introduced gafa tax gafa stands for google apple facebook amazon france was also in news as recently germany france and uk set up EU Iran payment channel the name of this payment channel is instex instex stands for instrument in support of trade exchanges the headquarter of instex is in france in paris and the objective of this payment channel is to continue trade with iran by circumventing us sanctions on iran which of the following banks has become the first indian bank to link interest rates to rbi's repo rate right answer is sbi so recently state bank of india has become the first bank in country to link its saving and loan interest rates to reserve bank of india's repo rate this will help in better transmission of rbi's policy rate interest into banking system if we talk about sbi recently sbi signed its first co origination loan agreement with Pesalo Digital Limited apart from that recently SBI ICICI and SDFC were given the status of domestic systematically important banks by RBI on the other hand recently Forbes compiled a list of world's best banks as per this list SDFC is top bank in India ICICI is on second position while SBI is on 11th position SBI was also in news as recently pfc that is power finance corporation has become india's second largest 
स्टेट ओन फाइनेंशियल फॉर्म आफ्टर एस बी आई रिसेंटली पी एफ सी कम्प्लीटेड द एक्विजिशन ऑफ मेजोरिटी स्टेक्स इन रूरल इलेक्ट्रिफिकेशन कॉरपोरेशन मास्टर हिरनैया हु पास अवे रिसेंटली वॉज नोटेड पर्सनैलिटी ऑफ विच रीजनल थिएटर राइट आंसर इज कन्नडा सो मास्टर हिरनैया द नोटेड कन्नडा थिएटर पर्सनैलिटी पास अवे रिसेंटली इन बेंगलुरु इन कर्नाटका हु हैज बीन अपॉइंटेड एज ऑफिसर ऑन स्पेशल ड्यूटी इन द ऑफिस ऑफ लोकपाल राइट आंसर इज मिस्टर दिलीप कुमार सो मिस्टर दिलीप कुमार हैज बीन अपॉइंटेड एज ऑफिसर ऑन स्पेशल ड्यूटी इन द ऑफिस ऑफ लोकपाल रिसेंटली जस्टिस पिनाकी चंद्र घोष हैज बीन अपॉइंटेड एज इंडिया हेज फर्स्ट लोकपाल एंड नाउ मिस्टर दिलीप कुमार विल बी ऑफिसर ऑन स्पेशल ड्यूटी इन द ऑफिस ऑफ लोकपाल If we talk about few other appointments recently Mr Rajendra Kumar Nayak has been appointed as new controller general of defense accounts on the other hand Ms Gargi Kohl has been appointed as new secretary of defense finance and Mr Graham Reed has been appointed as new chief coach of India men's hockey team on the other hand recently Mr David Malpass has been appointed as the new president of World Bank and Mr Karambir Singh has been appointed as the next chief of Indian Navy he will be the successor of Mr Sunil Lamba King Maha Vajralong Kon who is in news recently is from which country right answer is Thailand so Mr King Maha Vajralong Kon is associated to Thailand if we talk about Thailand recently multinational cobra gold military exercise held in thailand this year the exercise was hosted by usa and thailand it is one of the largest multinational military exercise in asia pacific thailand was also in news as it has approved the use of medical marijuana and therefore it is the first country in southeast asia to allow so if we talk about geographical location of thailand it is southeast Asian nation one important thing that should be kept in mind that Thailand does not share border boundary with China the capital of Thailand is Bangkok Thailand is also the part of ASEAN 10 countries are the member of ASEAN these are Myanmar Thailand Cambodia Malaysia Singapore Indonesia Brunei Vietnam Laos and Philippines in fact ASEAN was established through bangkok declaration in 1967 the secretariat of asean is in jakarta jakarta is the capital of indonesia on which date the 2019 edition of international firefighters day is observed recently right answer is 4th of may so international firefighters day is observed every year on 4th of may to recognize and to honor the sacrifices made by them if we talk about important days of may first of may was labor day it is also known as may day second of may was world tuna day while third of may was world press freedom day and the theme was media for democracy journalism and elections in the times of disinformation and this year the event was jointly organized by unesco african union commission and government of ethiopia next is who has been appointed as nato's supreme allied commander in europe right answer is mr todd walters so us air force general mr todd walters has been sworn in as the top military officer of nato military alliance if we talk about nato nato stands for north atlantic treaty organization recently macedonia signed an accord to join nato to become 30th member but before that macedonia signed an agreement with greece and agreed to change its name to republic of north macedonia so north macedonia will formally join the nato in 2020 nato was also in news as recently slovenia became the first nato state to appoint female army chief slovenia appointed miss alenka armenek as army chief the headquarter of nato is in brussels in fact the headquarter of european union 
is also in Brussels. If we talk about Brussels, it is the capital of Belgium. In fact, the headquarter of SWIFT is also in Belgium. SWIFT stands for Society for Worldwide Interbank Financial Telecommunication. Recently, SWIFT was in news as Ms. Arundhati Bhattacharya became the head of SWIFT India. Which Indian sportswoman has attained the world's number one position in women's 10 meter air rifle event? Right answer is Ms. Apoorvi Chandela. So, as per ISSF, that is International Shooting Sport Federation, Ms. Apoorvi Chandela from Jaipur has recently attained the world number one position in women's 10 meter air rifle event. If we talk about ISSF, it stands for International Shooting Sport Federation. The headquarter of ISSF is in Munich in Germany. And recently, Mr. Raninder Singh became the first Indian to be elected as the Vice President of ISSF. Thank you and that's all for the day.